Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goin. In our today's video, we will talk about multiplying radicals. Recently, we have uploaded a video on how to add or subtract radicals, and you can see it here, and we will put the link in our description box. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here are two examples for me to discuss how to multiply radicals. This is the first level of this topic. Now let's have the first example. We have the square root of 2 times the square root of 6. Now what is the basic requirement for us to multiply radicals? Basically, or the basic requirement is that they must have the same index. So here, the square root of 2 has an index of 2, while the square root of 6 has the index of 2. Since they are the same, we can simply multiply or combine their radicands. And it goes like this. We will copy the same radical, then multiply the radicands, just like this, 2 times 6. And now, multiply 2 and 6, the answer is simply the square root of 12. Now, this is not the answer yet because we can still simplify the square root of 12. And as we all know, the square root of 12 can be simplified as square root of 4 times 3 because this one is a perfect square. And now, what is the square root of 4? The square root of 4 is 2. We will put that outside the radical sign and that would be 2. And since we don't have the factors of 3, it will be still as, or it will remain as the square root of 3. And as you can see, this is the final answer for item number 1. Again, recap lang tayo. Before multiplying, check if the indices are the same. And then you can simply multiply the radicands. And then at the end, you need to simplify the product. And that's it. Now let's move on with item number 2. In number 2, here we have 4 square root of 3 times 3 square root of 8. So basically, they have the same indices, which is 2. And now, actually there are two possible ways on how to do this. The first way is we can simplify first the square root of 8. The second way is we can directly multiply it and then eventually we will simplify it. But in this case, since the numbers are small numbers, we can directly multiply the numbers inside. So first, we will go with multiplying the constants or the coefficients outside the radical sign. And it goes like this, 4 times 3. Again, I'm just multiplying the coefficients outside the radical sign. Next, we will deal with the radical signs or the radicals. It will go like this. Copy the radicals and then multiply the number inside. We have 3 times 8. Simplify this. This will become 12, guys. And here, this will become the square root of 24. Now, we all know that we can still simplify 24 by factoring it out. The factors are 4 times 6, so it will become 12. Then square root of 4 times 6. And what is the square root of 4? The square root of 4 is definitely 2. We will put that outside. It will become 12 times 2. Again, this 2, it came from the square root of 4. Then copy the square root of 6. And now, multiply this. We have 24 and square root of 6. And this is the final answer in number 2. So that's it, guys. Now, as part of our routine, I will give you the third example wherein I want you to multiply the square root of 3 and the square root of 45. What is your answer in this problem? 
So that's it guys. I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. But hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!